sentence. We're lost in a game of chance to a new master who turns out to be a smuggler. Then we're tossed overboard with the stolen goods whilst he gets himself arrested. Now this wretched salt storm. Art, where are you? Art who? Art who? Art who d Oh no! You've been eaten, consumed by this corrosive acid salt. Farewell, Art. You were a miracle of modern technology. A, a true prince among droids. A dear, dear friend. R2-D2? Miracle of modern technology? I said no such thing. Prince of the scrap pile if you don't get moving. you're just going to rust away and leave me out here alone. Oh, where does a master when you need one? What land speeder? <laughs> We're saved! It is a land speeder! What a land speeder? Where'd you come from? Leave this to me. Allow me to introduce myself, sir. I am C-3PO Human Cyborg Relations. A most useful and hey, an R2 unit. Easy. A most I'm just gonna take a look. Ready. Ah, you, sir. Um, uh, allow me to introduce you. Well, blast my burners. An R2 unit. Just what we've been looking for. I, I've been programmed to. What kind of shape's he in? Yeah, some circuit corrosion, a few dents. I can fix them. I am in excellent shape. I speak millions of languages. We so desperately need a master. Take it easy, 3PO. You've got one. Two. Welcome to the racing team of Thal Jobin and Jord Newsat. Oh, thank you, sir. Last one back to the shop is a two-toed swamp sucker. over into the restricted zone. Those seeker probes will destroy them unless I help. Master, what are those? I'm not hanging around to find out. This is most uncomfortable. trying very hard to ensure their privacy in this area. Then let's go! A very wise suggestion, sir. They got away, Tiggy. Don't call me Tiggy. Shall I call Size and tell him the project is off? No need to concern my father. The project will continue as planned. Once the Trigon One is completed, it will be impossible for anyone to withstand its power. But if those two joyriders leak one word about our secret base, the other gangs will try... The other gangs won't know anything until we move on them. Hmm. I'll take care of those two meddlers. Yes, sir. 
that speeder was almost a part of me, you know what I mean? You're not comparing that old rust bucket to the witch. Nothing compares to the witch. Excuse me, sir, the witch. Let me introduce you. R2, 3PO, meet the White Witch. Thal spent three years working this baby right down to the last bolt. Come on, George, I couldn't have done it without you. Ah. We'll test out R2 with the witch in the morning. See you in town! What? Uh, sorry, we're closed. What? You were right, sir. They were following us. They must be using IR sensors. We have to warn Jord. Let's go. You're too late. Oh! A couple of muscle droids took him away. Hey, who are you? Kia, Kia Ma. My star runner grounded on the salt flats. Engine trouble. I need a mechanic. Saw you racing, thought maybe you could help me. Oh, thank you. I'm most grateful. But I see you've got your own problems. Not at all. Our two senses detect movement outside. They're back. I'll get the speeder. But, but master. Just as I suspected, Otto. There's nothing out there. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh, what's wrong? Closer! Oh, oh, poor Master Thor. R2, do something quick! Come on, R2. Oh, I wish I had another rock. <clears throat> Let's go! <laughs> look at them. They look like beach wobbers. It's just a minor malfunction. For what they cost you to build, I could have got a few of the old boys together. That's the way old size would have done it. If it's not a droid, I don't trust it. And I'm not my father. I'm me. Maybe so, Tiggy. But you would have had both those troublemakers instead of just one. Don't call me Tiggy. Word can't leak to the other gangs about my secret operations base or the Trigon Market. If it does, you, me, and your father won't be worth a pinch of moon dust. That's Tig from Secret Base. They're probably holding Jordan there. If he is, our two will find out where. If you don't mind me asking, sir, how do you plan to get our two out of there? The same way I got him in. We'll use a decoy. I was afraid you'd say that. Okay, R2's in place. Get ready. Intruder alert! Dispatch Guardian Droid! should lead us right to the service tubes. Oh, good work, R2. Looks like you got it all. Hey, hold it right there. Looks like a detention area, all right. That indicator must be Jord. 3 p what are the chances of getting the witch through the service tubes, picking up Jord, and getting back without being detected? I'm afraid about 700,000 to 1, sir. That ah, could be worse. Not much worse. Nice suit. Have a seat. 
Oh! Nice seat. So, uh, you're really into electronics, huh? Not me, Mr. Frob. Ah. Size Frob? The gang leader? <laughs> I am Tig Frob. I am of the new ways. Technology is the key to the power of the new Frum gang, not ancient blood ties and old world methods. Those are the ways of my father, Size. You're not Size. Boy, that's a relief. I've heard stories about your dad. Kidnapping, extortion, blaster running. Are they all true? Be careful, Mr. Dusat. I am an ambitious man. Whoa. Ambitious men can be dangerous. <sighs> Just trying to be friendly. I don't want your friendship. I just want your silence. Hey, just tell me what I'm not supposed to know when you got it. You know very little. Only about this secret base. But even that information in the hands of Jabba, Arnott, or one of the other gang leaders could be very harmful to my plan. You sound like you're trying to take over the other gangs or something. <laughs> what? I didn't say nothing. I was only kidding. A joke. Uh-huh. You make too many jokes, Mr. Dusat. But yes, that's exactly what I plan to do. But as for you... You want me to rearrange his molecules? No need. He's being transported to my father's stronghold on Anu. Look, if you don't let me out of here, I've got friends that'll come in and bust me out. And then you'll be sorry. Ah. <laughs> Show me a droid that can do that. Can't go any further. Any ideas, Thal? I did some repair work for a stranger a long time ago. He never came back to pick up a speeder. Yes, My word, a lightsaber. It should do the trick. Stand back. Yes, little gadget. Now, according to R2, there's a control station up ahead. Let's go! Good luck, you two. Monitor my position. Switch the automatic tube services to manual and redirect the traffic out of my path. Yes, sir. I hope they can do it. What's that? A wrecking cylinder. We have to redirect it. But to where? To four. Good work, 3 po They're heading into a heavy loading area. Careful, sir. We're going into a bank of elevator base. Yeah, so I see. Ready, sir. Easy, easy. Now! Oh, this is also new to me. Computer controls of Artu's department. 3PO. We are the maintenance crew. The automatic service systems are malfunctioning. What do you mean we're not the maintenance crew? Oh, you're the maintenance crew. Well, that would make us security. Yes, it does. And that means someone sabotaged these systems. Why weren't you at your post? Ah, oh, there's the culprit. Not the alarm. Stay back. Get down, flying. You'll force me to do something wrong. Well, when you've traveled around the galaxy as much as I have, you know I once used a rock to demolish a particular... 3PO! 3PO! The master! The gates are closing! Who's watching the controls? The controls! Nothing's happening! The gates must have an override system! Open them, 3PO! Open them! We can't! They're going to crash! Hurry, 3PO! Hurry! No, nothing works! You look lovely. Oh, 3PO, are you all right? I'm not quite sure. Look! Thaw, they're moving towards the Up the elevator, Joe, quick! Oh, this won't be easy. Hang on, R2, hang on! Thanks, guys, but I've got a ride. Hey, how 
how's the witch handle? <laughs> Don't you ever think of anything but racing? What? No. Escaping! Quick! We'll cut them off in subsection 5. Hurry! Attention all units! Infiltrators in subsection 5! <laughs> all units to subsection 5! They're setting up an ambush! Oh dear. Perhaps. All units to subsection 6. Repeat, subsection 6. Shut down the power to those laser pods before they destroy everything. Activate the droid cruisers. Seal off the exits. If they do manage to get outside, my droid cruisers will be waiting. As soon as your cruisers stick their noses outside, your sentry droids will blow them to bits. The sentry droids? The thermal spheres. Shut down power to the sentries. Hurry! This is what happens when you send a droid to do a man's job. Here. Well, don't just stand there. Let's get going. Oh! <gasps> I got this one, but the others are on their way. Out there. Hurry! Quick thinking, 3PO. Master Thor, it's us! Come back! Which way, 3PO? R2 says there's a way out in there. Hurry, Martha. Hurry! Wait for me! Oh! It's safe, 3PO. The sentry droids have been deactivated. If you say so, sir. The ramp control still function. Cruisers! Oh, oh. George, the witch! We're trapped! They were waiting for us. That's why the droid's power's been cut. Now what? If we can reactivate the sentry droids, they'll destroy the cruisers with their spheres. There's an emergency override control out there, sir. So override, 3PO, override! Me, sir? If I must. Ah, the override controls. Oh! oh. I'm just not suited to this kind of work. Why did I ever... I must be out of my mental capacities. This should do it. 3PO did it! They're activated! Oh! I'm on! Oh, master. Inside is bad enough. Oh! It's the end! George! Push it, buddy! This one real good. When the other gangs hear that we were setting up for a takeover, it's gonna get real hot for us and your father. I think it's time for a long vacation. I understand the swamps of Borga are almost habitable this time of year. So I figure that's the last we'll see you take from for a while. Well, aren't you going to thank me? Thank you? Thank you for what? You told me to figure out a way to get us and the White Witch to the Buddha speeder race, didn't you? 
Well, I did it. Here we are. An express run right to it. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, what about us? What do you mean? As I recall, aren't we the ones that risked our necks? To save yours? Hey, what are friends for? So don't get it into that thick metallic head of yours that you've got a future in speeder racing. Well, of course, I'm concerned for your well-being, but more than that, I don't think you're capable. It takes a certain sophistication, a subtle turn of the wrist, the delicate command of the controller, a certain balance. You see, racing is dangerous even when you're not in a speeder. Repairs, repairs. No, I can't take much more of this. I do dislike space travel, R2. This should do it. R2, I do not want to hear it. Quiet, R2. I wish R2 and 3PO would stop clowning around out there. R2-D2, be careful. If you float away, I'll have to try and save you. Me? Don't worry about me floating off. I've seen to it that I am properly secured. R2, where are you going? Oh, the hyperdrive is floating away. I'm floating away. R2, do something. Take me. <laughs> I should know better than to ask two mechanical maniacs to try and fix a little malfunction. Easy, Kia. R2 and 3PO will find the problem. Oh, I didn't mean the droids, George. Ooh. Oh! Here I go again. Good idea, Ratu. Turn the container's gravity amplifier all the way up. Oh, my servo discs. Well, I certainly won't float away now. And most likely, I'll never be able to stand up straight again either. As R2-D2 so readily put it, sir, I am the one to blame for allowing the hyperdrive unit to get away from me. Don't worry, 3PO. We can pick up a new unit on Anu. I'm sure my mother would put us up for a few days. Are you sure you're all right, 3PO? Oh, it's just a trick servo disc in my back, sir. It will write itself. <laughs> See? Perfectly fine. R2, set a course for Anu. Hi, Pop. Still mad at me? Tig, you know me better than that. Was I angry when your protector droids turned on me and handed me over to the authorities? It was a little malfunction. You, you was see, I angry when you broke someone else out of the prison station and left me there? Mistakes happen, Father. Twice? Well, what happened the second time uh, was... Now, because of your bungling, the other gangs may find out about our secret base. <laughs> then they will unite and destroy me. But they won't touch you. No? Why not? Because I'll beat them to you, that's why. Relax, Pop. You're 900 years old. It's not good for you. My spies tell me the two who infiltrated our secret base are here on Anu with a girl and two droids. Keep them quiet, Father, and we'll secure our future as the most powerful gang in the stars. Now it's up to me to deal with them. 
One more slip up, kid. And Vlix knows what to do. <laughs> I'll find those two young meddlers myself. The girl and the two droids. Attention, all visitors to Anu must register with space officials. It's taking longer to register than it took to fly here. I really don't know why we droids have to wait in a separate line. It's discrimination. <laughs> Did you see that, R2? He butted in ahead of us. <laughs> Behave yourself, R2. You're going to get us into... Wait, let's... <laughs> Trouble. Uh, bubbles in his air system. Space travel, you see. Suspicious-looking characters. Where? You're right, R2. I've got a bad feeling about this. Good. What are we going to do? What are you doing? Have you got mad? Oh, I see. You have. Oh, mad droid! Mad droid! Oh, mad droid! What's gotten into R2? I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Come on, let's ditch the, uh, welcoming committee. Don't try to stop him. His logic has completely broken down. Save yourselves out of the way. the speeder. Mother won't be back for a while. You guys should get some rest. 3PO, R2, see if you can help out with the chores. This is the lowest form of duty. Vacuum and sand slots. Why, I'd rather be feeding tontons on half. Nice, nice sloth. I do hope those creatures aren't afraid of vacuum machines. Well, um, here goes. Never mind about the door, Artu. What about me? Door? What door? Artu, what are you getting us into? <whistles> it does look like a rebel base. Rebel base? Mistress Kier never told us she was part of the Rebel Alliance. <whistles> to come back here. My fault. Don't worry, Master Thor. Thor! Thor, are you okay? Oh, I think so. <coughs> Wish someone would tell me what's going on. Tick Fromm is building a powerful weapon satellite at his secret base called the Trigon One. You really mean Tig Fromm is building a weapon satellite in that crater on Ingle? We're the only two that know its location. Size Fromm's gang wants it kept a secret. So that's why I was attacked. And the welcoming committee at the spaceport. But how do you know all this? Mother sent me to find the location of Tig's base. What? You? Why? So that she can return and destroy it. Exactly. This droid that attacked you was sent by Size from to stop you from interfering with the launching of their secret weapon. Our only hope is to destroy the Trigon One before it leaves for Size from's base. It's up to us. Us? Everyone in this star system is a possible victim. Freedom is everybody's fight. Oh, she's right, but we need a plan to destroy the Trigon. You need to sleep off that gas, little buddy. I've got an idea about that satellite. You see, Artu, it's like I always say, 
Freedom is everybody's fight, so I'm preparing to strike my blow for the cause. Oh, by utilizing my knowledge of Braddock Nairs, the ancient art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'll demonstrate. Charge at me, R2. Come on, and don't stop. Hey! Freedom is everybody's fight! Oh! Art, my silver disc is stuck. Stop, R2! R2, stop! <laughs> I don't care if he does like me, R2. Just get me out of this embarrassing position. Oh, oh my head. What? George, here! Yeah. Where are they going? As I understand it, sir, Size From is going to his secret base on Ingo. They plan to sneak aboard his ship for a free ride to the Trigon. They haven't got a chance! Come on! I got a plan to get us inside Size From's ship. That should take us to Tink's secret base. 3PO, look down there. We've got to find Jordan Kia. Let's go see Mr. From. I told you I'd get us on his ship. <laughs> oh dear. Huh? Hey, guys! Okay, you guys. I think I know how we can get on board without being seen. Someone's coming. No kidding. Kia, hurry up! Master Thol, those containers are very confining. I suggest you take these breather units. You'll be more comfortable. Good idea. Thanks, guys. 3PO, hang on to this and don't shake it. I'm sorry we're taking so long to load this cargo, sir. I know Master Prom has given you orders. Orders? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right. Come on, you clones. <laughs> I mean, clowns. <laughs> You're as slow as sand sloths. You want me to tie your circuits into knots, droid? Oh, no, sir. That won't be necessary. Then move your bolts. Uh, yes, sir. Come on, Arthur. We hate droids. I'll stay here and help Kia's mother. Take good care of the cargo, 3PO. Yes, sir. My goodness, it's Tick Frog. Oh, it's the end, R2. He'll recognize us. My stars. Size from. Father. Recently, I wish it were otherwise. Quick, up to look busy. It wasn't my droids that missed catching them this time. You and your droids, my men, will find them. Two males, a girl, and two droids. The Trigon One is almost ready. It better be. It cost enough. You can't put a price on an entire star system. Soon this whole quadrant will be ours. To do with as we please. Yours. Yours to do with as you please. Take. You coming, Father. Ow! Master, did you hear all that? It's me, Kia. I heard 3PO. Are we aboard yet? Soon, Master. Soon. Win this one, little buddy. It's all up to you. We can't lose track of those two containers, Arthur, at any cost. I must say this would be easier if we didn't have to share accommodation with those two. My friend here says that I couldn't dismantle you with one hand. I say I can. Try to ignore them, Artu. What did he say? Nothing of any importance. What did he say? Well, he said your maker was a trash compactor. Well, it's not his fault. Space travel plays havoc with his rotors. I'll play havoc with his rotors. Oh, no, please. Huh? Meteor Storm! Bye-bye.
find our master and mistress here. Prepare for entry into top secret base. All personnel must have identification cards ready. Oh, I do hope we chose the right containers. Keep your lens on that skid, R2. Careful with those two. Their contents is priceless. What's so important about these two? What? Oh, uh, why? Actually, I, I'm not sure, sir. They're, they're top priority and are to be taken to the satellite hangar immediately. So, if you don't mind... Open it! I believe those two are the only others. Take them right down to the hangar. Tell them Flick says it's okay. Master, are you in there? No, it's me, Kia. Freebio, what's going on? Oh, thank the maker. I've arranged clearance to the hangar, sir. the beauty of it. It has the destructive power of anything a thousand times its size. Since when is smaller, costlier? It's the new age, Father. It's all micro-mini, teensy-weensy little components. You'll be teensy-weensy little components if anything goes wrong. I'm afraid that this... Whatever it is, is irritating my circuits. What's wrong with you? It's just a... Right, it's a thermal detonator. Thermal detonator? Hey, you! Troy! What you got there, shiny pants? This ain't some weird relative of yours, is it? Oh, sir, please. We have clearance. If you'll give that back, we'll be on a... You want it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, please, sir. I don't know what you're doing. Oh! Huh? Oh! Ooh. Please, uh, Mr. Flix gave us security clearance. Flix? Go on, get going. Uh, uh, I never thought I'd be so relieved to be holding a thermal detonator. It's activated! All oh, that jostling around. But we only have ten minutes until detonation. That's the weapon satellite. Trigon 1. What's that? Top priority parts. I gave them clearance. What parts? The satellite is finished. Stop, Stop them. them! They're going, going to destroy, destroy the Trigon! The Trigon. Oh! We've got five minutes. Then we go up with a trigon. Not if I can help it. Cover me. Whoa! Come on, get aboard. No, oh, oh, do, do something quick. Hurry, Arthur, hurry. Well, Arthur, now we're sealed in here. With the thermal detonator. Here, get the drop. You're right. Freedom is everybody's fight. Freebio, come on. They'll be through in minutes.
Give me weapons power. Droid fighters. Intercept. Intercept! They're useless against the Trigon's weapons. No. The weapon systems are not yet activated. Satellite worked. We can set up again somewhere else. Perhaps far away. It will take years. The other gangs will search for me. They might be successful, but this time I do it alone. Blakes? No, I, I. Let him go. Right now, he's the least of our worries. Ha <laughs> ha! Good shooting, R2. Now we can use a Trigon against the other gangs. Uh-uh, it's too dangerous for either side to have, Kia. We have to finish what we started. We've got to destroy it. You're right, Thal. Size is gangs finished. That's what we wanted. And thanks to R2 and 3PO, that's what we have. As I always say, sir, freedom is everybody's fight. Ah, uh, guy! Oh! Well, if that's the case, 3PO, maybe R2 would give you a few tips on freedom fighting. Me! Go back and fight! Oh! oh. That is, if your back can take it. I, I... I think it might be better to leave the freedom fighting to R2. After all... want their weapon satellite back. R2. <laughs> They've sent a mercenary droid after us and it's going to... <laughs> it was you. Very, very clever. I knew it all along. Fall, can't 3PO and I come along? Uh, no, Kia. Those gangsters, the Froms, won't rest until they get the Trigon back. As I understand it, Mistress Kia, the fewer people who know where Master Paul and R2 hide the satellite, the safer it will be. Not to mention the safer you'll be if the Froms catch up with us. 3PO, take care of Kia. No, I shall, sir. Um, perhaps you would look after R2. He just can't manage without me. We'll be back soon. <sighs> Mistress Kia, it's me, C-3PO. I shared your concern, so I was trying to hook up this antenna to that old subspace receiver to take our minds off things. Oh, look, R2's favorite program. Perhaps I can improve the reception if I... Oh, R2 is so much better at these things than... It's not my fault, Father. I'll get our weapon satellite back from those rebels. Let's take from. You've tuned into his private frequency. Size from. You get it back, or I'll get another son. I should never have financed that hunk of tin. You and your super weapons. But Father, the Trigon One will make us the most powerful gang in the quadrant. Silence. Until we have it back, we're the most desperate gang in the quadrants. Where's Flix? He's about to capture the ones who took my, uh, your satellite. Oh no, Master Thor and R2. He's got them surrounded at the old speeder shop. Freepio, wait! We can't let them walk into an ambush at the speeder shop. Speeder shop? Damn! Whoa! Whoa! 
that Roy Tig was talking about. They're after us. <laughs> we need a plan. If only Archer were here. He always has a plan for oh, some ridiculous idea. We're on our own. What do you suggest? Um, well, we could surrender. I mean, it's one strategy. <laughs> Got three seconds to give yourself up. One, two, three. <laughs> Let's go. Get him. Hurry, Mario, hurry. I'm oh. trying. I'm trying. Oh, my goodness. plan after the They'll never find us. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Oh. to Mr. Fromm. You'll never get it back. Maybe you'd like to tell that to him yourself. <laughs> You see, it doesn't help anyone to have all these gangs around. I mean, half the time, you don't know who's victimizing who. We're perfectly clear who is victimizing us, aren't we, R2? He is. With my weapon satellite, we'll just eliminate the other gangs, and things will be a lot simpler. Tiggy. Is my Trigon One? Don't worry, Tig. It's in a safe place. Lex. He will hand over what is mine, or else I will show you something you'll never forget. Where's my weapon satellite? Tell them to push start a turbo engine. From behind. Don't tell them anything, Kia. The choice is yours. Oh, dear. Oh. Either tell me what I want to know, or... <laughs> you reptile! Kia, <laughs> no! Kia! <laughs> you... Why? <laughs> One last time. Where is my Trigon? I'll 
talk to size. My father? The real power in the family. Never! And so I thought you would like the pleasure of interrogating them yourself, father. So, you couldn't even get them to talk. Actually, they were begging to confess to me, but I thought, why not let Dad have a little fun? Hmm? So, once again, it's up to me. No, I mean... Of all the sons in the galaxy, how did I manage to get you? Why is it that he never believes me? The least they could have done was to put us in a gravity compartment. I may never regain my equilibrium. It's all right for you. You can just hang there like a magnetic and Luthian bat. Oh, no, I can't take much more of this, Artu. I'm ready to listen to your plan. What plan? You always have some twisted scheme in that dustbin dome of yours. Oh, fine. The first time we actually need one, you're empty. We get through the shaft, take over the ship, get the trigon. And do what with it? Blow size from stronghold and look for Jordan, your mother, in the pieces? Thaw, we've nothing to fight them with but the trigon. So let them use it against themselves. I think you're space sick, Thal Jobin. Just trust me. You can put your arms down, 3PO. I think they got us. It's my circuit, sir. They think I'm still upside down. Just keep your eyes and ears open. We're not prisoners, are you? We're spies. We have to find out everything we can. Uh, excuse me, sir, but what is in that room? That's where the droids that spy on us go. Spies, Artu, with prisoners. Prisoners, Artu. Perfect model prisoners. Eat. I understand you'd like to propose a trade. Let Kia's mother and George go free, then we'll talk. You take me for a fool, Mr. Chobin. You're not dealing with my son. It's only my circuit balance shifting back. The Trigon One's on Ingo. Oh. In the Jarl Forest, near the Bantha-shaped rock formation. I know the spot. Where do you think you're going? Please, Father. It's mine. I mean, it's yours. But I built it. All right, all right. Lix, go with him. And make sure he brings it back this time. Oh. What about my mother? She stays right where she is. You're not surprised. I didn't think you'd be. Lock them up until I figure out what our young friend's game is. Well, I hope this place of confinement will at least have gravity. Oh, dear. And then they threw me in here and took Demma to an interrogation cell. You shouldn't have come. No, R2, it's too late. You should have had a plan when we first needed it. Well, what's his idea? A ridiculous plan. We'll try anything. If you insist, sir. This had better work. I certainly hope you hid our master's jewels, R2. They're worth more than we are. Jewels? What jewels? Where? 
no, please, sir, don't do that. My circuits are out of balance as it is. Oh! Ooh. All right. The jewels are in the R2 unit's panel. Now, R2, now! Oh, good work, R2. I'll go help 3PO. Okay? Whoa! 3PO. How long will it take Tig to get the Trigon back here at light speed? About 14 seconds, sir. Correction. Arrival time should be in 49 minutes. Give or take. We have to get your mother out of here before Tig returns with the Trigon. If we don't, no one will ever leave this place. Whatever does the Master mean? The moment the Trigon arrives, this place will become a crater? With full power transferred to the laser cannons, this baby could take out a whole planet. At long last, you have proven yourself worthy of the Fromm name. I am proud of you, Tig. Son. Just slow down, Tiggy. I can't keep up with you. Oh, don't call him Tiggy. <laughs> Watch it! Oops. Sorry, Lexi. Ah, ah, that's my boy! Okay, Thal. Interrogation cells one level up. We can get there through this service tube. Sir, we don't have much time. Commandeer the fastest ship we can find. If I'm not back in time... Leave without us. But Kia... She's my mother. I'm going with him. Huh? You heard her. Let's go. You heard him. Let's go. That strato driver's the fastest crate here. Where is he going? I expect he's come up with some sort of plan. Now we're in real trouble. Hey! Put that back! Level. Okay, altering guidance systems, ready to lock in landing coordinates. Huh? Hey, what's wrong? I don't know. The guidance systems, the docking sequence, it's not responding. What does that mean? Father, I'm on a collision course with a stronghold. Tiggy! You mean R2 and Fall sabotage the Trigon when they hit it? According to R2, it's set on a collision course with this stronghold. It'll be here any minute. Well, don't just stand there. Go and help Fall. I hoped you'd say that, sir. But how? <laughs> Ah, to wait for me. Shh. Oh. Stop it, Tiggy! You blundering idiot! Turn it around. Do something. Anything. I'm trying. I'm trying. Slip down, Ah, to be careful.
come on. You're safe. Kia. Mother. Oh. <laughs> uh, three PO, how long? Any moment, sir. What now? The service tube. What evacuation alarm? <laughs> stronghold and no more from gang right we fixed the trigon so it would home in on size's communication signal so in other words you let evil destroy itself exactly it was all r2's idea i'm a little tired of r2's ideas especially the one to use my server mechanism to guide this spacecraft oh come on 3po what would we do without you I really don't know, sir. But, well, I'm afraid you would be left to the mercy of R2's plans. They may be R2's plans, 3PO, but you're the one who sees them through. <laughs> you two are a terrific team. Well, when you put it that way, I really can't disagree. Race. So, George, you and the witch ready to win your first big one? We're gonna clean up, though, buddy. All set, Kia? Just as soon as R2 and 3PO secure the witch for light speed. 3PO, how's it going out there? Quite well, Mistress Kia, if I do say so myself. We'll soon have the cufflinks fixed. Oh, what was that? Oh, we're being attacked! We see it! Get in here, fast! The hatch! Stop! It's stuck, R2! Oh, it won't open. Oh. Hey! George! Oh. oh, no! They hit one of the engines. Who are those guys? We're not sticking around to find out. Hit the hyperdrive. I've tried. Nothing happened. Oh, damn! What? Oh. An external hyperdrive control? 
Of course I knew it was there. I was about to suggest trying it myself. Because of them, I lost my super weapon, the Trigon. The key to my takeover of every other gang in the galaxy. And now, all I have is this floating scrap heap. Hey, they're slowing down. Huh? Hmm. Floating scrap heap, eh? Watch this. Now see what you've gonna done, R2! <laughs> now, oh, no! All right. Huh? Where in the galaxy could they... You let them get away again, Tiggy. Well, what did you expect from a scrap heap like this? <laughs> them! We'll be lucky if we're not stranded here. Don't worry. The hyperdrive is fine. Prepare for light speed. No! George, are you okay? Oh, I'm alright. What about the droids? 3PO? R2-3PO, are you okay? It was a close call, but as always, I kept my head on straight. <laughs> Go, R2, what now? Oh, no! Prepare to land! By accident. Oh, you're telling me. Would you kindly help me down? Go. Me? I'm perfectly one. One of a kind is how I like to put it. Your creator must have been one of a kind as well. Oh, I created me. They jerked me after a century of loyal mechanical service, so I repaired myself. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, R2-D2. Is there a medical unit nearby? Oh, you're lucky. There's one just over the hill, right by the track. Ooh, nice speed you got there. Big bang up, but she'll go. Can't say the same for your ship. But I could fix that. I'm sure Mistress Care would like a second opinion. Not thrown down, I may be old, but I can run circles around your circuits any day of the millennium. Can you fix it? Just said I could. Deal. We'll be back after the race. Good enough. Nice meeting you, R2-D2. I advise you to choose your friends more carefully, R2. We droids are often judged by the company we keep. because of those young speeder racers and their friends. I want you to make them pay. I will do as you ask, size from. Who's he talking to? I should mention I'm not getting along with some of the other gang leaders. Jabba the Hutt has a reward out for you. Oh, oh, oh. You, you can't tell him I'm here. Have no fear, size from. I owe you a favor. I shall do as you ask. Good. Use any means you want. Just bring those meddlers to me. No one escapes me. I have someone on the job. Just remember. Boba Fett. At 
After this, we are settled, Sai Sprott. After this, I owe you nothing. Why are we getting mixed up with that bounty hunter? Uh, they don't come much worse than him. I almost feel sorry for those two speeder racers. needs two good arms. Looks like you're in the driver's seat, little buddy. Oh, there'll be other races, Jord. Not like this one. Every speeder big shot in the system's here. Hey, you're both out of the race if we don't find a place to patch up the witch. <laughs> don't be ridiculous, R2. He suggests we employ the help of that walking scrap heap, Proto-1. Hey, not a bad idea. But, sir, I have already found someone who can help us. Well, actually, he found me. You'll find a full complement of tools, Master Thor. Everything you should need. This is too good to be true. How long can we use it, BL-17? Oh, as long as you need it. My master. Don't you see, Blakes? You're on, Tiggy. This is other interest. Mistress here. It turns out that BL-17 and I are not travels. It is a pleasure to associate with a droid of comparable intellect. For a change, I'm not the only droid capable of assisting our master. Right, thanks to R2. Oh, good work, pal. Come on, Kia. We'll get some oxygen tablets at the medical unit. R2, keep an eye on the witch while we're gone, okay? R2-D2, what have you done to the shop? Leaking gas. What do you mean the lift that destroyed the door? No excuses. You were the one using the welding tanks. You were careless. Well, you can't leave the witch unprotected like this. I have a place where we can store it. I suggest we take it there immediately. Excellent. I don't know what I'd do without you, BL-17. As for you, R2-D2, so far your presence has been completely detrimental to our master's plans. I suggest that you leave before you destroy anything else. <laughs> going to keep up with a speeder in this thing. Just watch me. Hang on. But don't wrinkle the suit. Archie, what is it? He must be picking up a signal from 3PO. Let's go. White Witch will be safe in this processing plant. Excellent, BL-17. Well, what have we here? 
If it isn't BL-17, the lowest form of synthetic life to ever crawl across a planet. Why, there's no need to be insulting. I thought you were deactivated ages ago, old-timer. But I see you've saved that privilege for me. Really, now, BL-17, I don't care for this rustic any more than you, but I really don't think... Put a slap on it, Chrome Dome. I've been waiting for this moment. But, but, but I don't understand. Run for it! What have I done? Fire on your art and your friends received my signal. You will lead your master into my master's trap. Too bad you won't be around to see it. Oh, what a fool I've been to trust a stranger over R2, my real friend. Goodbye, R2. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, no, you don't. Hi! Ah. Try to harm my friend, will you? Oh! Ah. R2, can you forgive me? Master Thor! The witch must be around here somewhere. It's a trap! We've got to find the witch and get out of here. This ought to do it. This thermal detonator will help them finish the race with a real bang. Ten laps and then... <laughs> Who needs Boba Fett? The witch! Down here! R2, start her up! I'll use it to draw him off. Sit tight, you'll be okay. Right. 3PO, take cover! Yeah! You gotta stop it! I'm trying to the thermal detonator on his speeder! Thermal detonator? It's gonna go off in ten laps! Ten laps? We've gotta stop Paul before he finishes the race! Look, Admiral Screed. Everyone's here except the Emperor himself. Ha. This is real nice of you to let us share your private viewing box. Where is Thal Joven? I want to see his speeder blown into a million pieces. Come on, Thal. Where are you?
driving, little buddy. You were great. We knew you'd win. Mwah. Yeah! Oh. Um. Bravo! Bravo! Oh, R2, you were great, too. Was that Boba Fett? I've heard of him. Why would a bounty hunter bother with us? A bounty hunter? Congratulations! That was a fine race you won. And that is a fine speeder. My name is Zebulon Dak. The Zebulon Dak Speeder Corporation? So, you've heard of me. I want you two to work for me. Designing and building. Um, when can you start? <laughs> Tomorrow? Tomorrow, then. Why, it sounds like a dream come true, Master Thor. The Zebulon Dax Speed of Cultivation. Well, we couldn't have done it without your help, you and R2. As R2 puts it so well, it is our honor and privilege to serve. Uh, all the same, thanks. A master never has to thank his droids, but we do appreciate your appreciation. Going somewhere? I should have guessed the Fromm family was behind this. You guys never know when to quit. I'm warning you. Hands behind your head. Proto. Proto. Oh, let's get out of here. Wonder. Your meddling has cost me my droid, my speeder, and almost my neck, King Fromm. It was all his idea. Let's go. I'm turning you over to Jabba the Hutt for the reward. No! But, but you, you can't. We can talk this over, can't we? You talk too much, Tiggy. Well, they certainly deserve each other. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we got a meeting with Zebulon. R2, Proto, we must be on our way. Now, don't leave. Don't just move home. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, old man. Talk around any time. Old Frodo will always be here. Artu, what are you doing? Leave the intercom alone. <laughs> So what are we going to do? You're sure Zebulon won't let R2 and 3PO go along? Impossible. It's company policy. They'd have to be reprogrammed. I'm afraid they'd no longer be R2 and 3PO. Then forget Zebulon Dak. Okay, it's settled. We don't take the job. You couldn't find two better friends in the galaxy. Prepare for light speed. R2, where are you going? <laughs> Absolutely right. Going to light speed now! I don't like leaving like this, but it seems to be the only way. Yes, if we had stayed, they wouldn't have taken the job with Zebulon Dak. Now they're free. Yes, it was a sacrifice, R2. But that's what friends are for. We may be surrounded by nothingness. But we do have something. Friend. the agency, this is it, R2. Well, I'm not certain what our new master will require from us, but from the look of things, he's in dire need of a maintenance story. And a translator. Oh, this is wonderful, R2. We'll finally get to do the work we've been programmed for. L let, let me see. That, that, that was uh, three um, photon fizzles, one fold of uh, jumbo, and uh, two supernovas. Right. Uh, pardon me, sir, but uh, I, I didn't order any circuit cider. Oh. R2, hey. have your senses clogged. I was here first. Hm. See if I do clean up duty for you anymore. 
that was um, too super nervous. Go and look after Mr. Clem. He owns a piece of everything in town, including this place. Give him any trouble and I'll melt you down into spittoons. I just paid you and now you're changing the deal. <laughs> Showing the way out, Yorpo. Hey! Meow! Watch it! What the? Um, uh... Bring me the usual, you fool. Oh, y yes, sir. Uh, coming right up, sir. <laughs> I must find him before IG-88 the bounty hunter does. I will pay you 40,000 cashels if you can find him. What makes this fellow so important? You have his picture. You need know nothing else. So be it. If I can't find him, no one can. <laughs> We can't function without a master. Have some self-respect, R2. I would never stoop so low. Okay, we have one R2 unit and this other droid. Oh. May I suggest we start the bidding at something reasonable, say, oh, 500 cashels. 500 cashels? They're worth at least 5,000 cashels apiece. <laughs> And I'll even throw in a boat. Let's see up uh, here. One hard-working android and two novelty items. Do I hear 500? You, sir? Surely you can see that we're a bargain at 5,000 cashels. I'd really like to help you, but I just spent my uncle's last cashel on this mining droid. Uno Sold! To the tall gentleman for 60 cashels. <laughs> oh, no! apart as it is. Allow me to translate, sir. Master Yorpo says he's only a worthless android. Tell your master I offer to trade my 3,000 Keshul mining droid for you, the R2 unit, and the android. Ditoza kid He agrees. Oh, thank the maker. Come on. Looks like you haven't been recharged in weeks. So, what have we here? no, You do be your It's him, Julpa. He's worth forty thousand kettles to me. After them. Huh? Oh no! Trivia, can you drive? Well, said I. Good. Between Clem, Silla, and 
40,000 geshos for long. Now remember, his bark's worse than his bite. It's gonna be smooth sailing from here on with... No work droid, Uncle Gundy. I bought one, but I traded it. You traded the work droid? He traded the work droid. Well, now we have two droids and an android. You traded the work droid? But Uncle Gundy, I, I had to save them from this tyrant. There you go again, helping out the whole blame galaxy and leaving us worse off than we was before. You're too soft, Jan, and someday your kind nature is gonna be your end. I told you a hundred times. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. Suffering satellites, boy. What in the universe am I supposed to do with two prissy droids and a banged up android? Huh? Oh. Ah! He's in rough shape. My goodness. Our two sensors indicate that this creature is not an android. What? There is no trace of non-organic mechanisms of any kind. He is a complete life form. 3PO, give me a hand. Of course, sir. He ain't even an android. As if things weren't tough enough around here, you bring home another mouth to feed. I got the... We're not making a very good impression on our new master, Artem. Go away! Scat! Go on, chew! Oh. I work all day on this, Duke. Go away! Or you'll be in the pot tomorrow. Ah, just in time. Oh, oh! Oh! Master Gundy, what happened to your foot? Oh, um... If you don't mind me saying so, sir, our two skin is much harder than your toe. He's looking better already. What do you think we should call him, 3PO? Personally, sir, I'd call him hungry. What? Thank you. Looks like all the grub this creature's been eating did the trick. Uncle Gundy will never say it, but I think he's gotten to like our new friend. Oh! A cave in! Uncle Gundy! Uncle Gundy! Hold on! Start up the roller. We have to get him to a medical facility. <sighs> Jim, it was good of you to save this creature at the auction. You just saved my hide. Thanks. Kezeban. Kezeban? That's a botchy word, sir. It means he that returns from death. Kezeban. And that's it. Our friend now has a name. Kezeban. I like it. <laughs> Proton torpedo detonators. We're 
rich, you are fool. <laughs> what? There goes my 40,000 gashels. Your fool. You know what to do. Medical droid 318, please report to emergency sick bay. Oh, thank goodness he's all right. It'll take more than a cave-in to break old Uncle Gundy. Kitty Ben is gone. What? Oh dear, I'm afraid Yorpo has made off with him, sir. Come on. I agreed to pay you 40,000 casuals for finding him. Why do you now demand more? If others are willing to pay IGAT to hunt this Jolba, perhaps they're willing to pay my price. They would destroy him. Finish what they started. I am here to save him. The only way to save your friend now is to pay my price. <laughs> What have you done with Kez? Uh, we've been expecting you. Darpo! Stunner. A girl can't be too careful in these parts. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Um, Name's Jessica. Jessica Mead. Jantosh. Thanks again. Hmm, yes, the most unstable raw element in the universe. Making it the most dangerous. And the most valuable. You're crazy, Kleb. Anything could activate the Nurgon and blow this place into a million pieces. Hmm, then I suggest you be very careful when you carry it up for me. <laughs> way to reach the power conductor and deactivate the cable restraints. We can now safely sever them, Master Jan. Stop! Ah! Get away from that power conductor or I'll... It's you! I came to help you as you helped me! <gasps> Manjulba! Who's connected it, sir? I hope you've done a proper job. Manjulpa! Masolag! Nain spin fa! Na manjulpa! Luchacha na spin! Tamuzan! Mazajulpa na Tamuzan! Do you understand all that, Fipio? I hold the royal scepter of Tamuzan. I am Manjulpa, prince of Tamuzan. Thank you for your help, John. My memory was erased by an evil vizier so that he could usurp my rightful throne. Now, I must return to Tamuzan and free my people from his tyranny. Pity any and all who stand in Monchulpa's way. You're a king? I mean, Kez. I mean, your majesty. Keziban, please. Sir, our two sensors have detected rising levels of combustible gas. 
He says if it's sparked by those ore cutters, it could activate the Nergon. And put this entire place on the next planet. We have to shut the power down. Then that is what we shall do. Let's go. You heard him, Artu. Artu, D2, what have you done to my leg? You crossed my wires. Don't touch it. I shall just have to put up with it until I can get a professional to do the job properly. Slow down, Artu, slow down. to watch. Oh, my. Oh, my leg. Sorry. Oh, dear. The master. Talk to with you. This was just a little too churn. The gate! They're closing! Faster, R2, faster! Slow down, R2, slow down! Oh, oh! Thank goodness. I want them alive! Umanaru? Let them come up. They're just anxious to start loading up my Nergon ore. That tube will take us to Cleb's control platform. Artu reports the gas is reaching critical saturation level, sir. I'm afraid it will ignite at any moment. ore cutters before it's too late. They'll ignite the gas leak and activate the Nergon. Please, you must listen. Never trust a droid. It's too late. We're doomed. The Nergon is activated. There's enough to vaporize this entire place. must split up. We always seem to pick the wrong tunnel. Hurry, yo! Load on my cash! Always the wrong tunnel. A stunner! Made my day. Drop the people. Oh, Mika! You stay behind with the others. The Keshels? Don't be greedy, Yoko. There's only enough for me. Over there. Yes, sir. It worked! Everybody in! Come on, Yoko! Oh, we're too heavy! Dump the cargo! Oh, please, hurry! Yorpo says we certainly know how to pick a master. <laughs> and I know how to pick my droids. <laughs> Artu says Cleb will be quite angry when he wakes up. Because we're depositing him in the nearest security cell? No, sir. Because that cargo we tossed out back there was all his casuals. You know, if you hadn't saved my hide, I never would have found that casual vein after the cave-in. 
<laughs> but now we're rich, boy. Rich! And you say he's an honest to goodness king? Not a king, Uncle Gandhi. A prince. Thanks to you and your droids, I am able to return to my people and claim my throne. And what of you, John? My place is here, helping my uncle. So be it. Without you, I would still be the mindless creature that you took pity on. Your kindness is a strength that few can master. You see, R2, I knew we'd find a wealthy master. Our troubles are over. As for you two, I still ain't got my money's worth out of your steel hides. But, 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 but you, you don't mean... Yeah, you bet your bolts I do. Now get working before... Ow! Ow! Oh, oh. My goodness. R2, behave yourself. Oh, oh, my leg. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, R2. Much better. <laughs>